I guess this all must feel uh, a little emotional for you. Could you describe the feelings on the inside? Yeah, it is emotional, but uh, you know, you were like uh, kind of awaiting that moment when it's gonna come, and and it's here. You know, I mean, this this has been an incredible journey, but every 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 journey has to end one day, and this is the day. So, I you know, I see it also very positive. It is a part of it, and that's part of the tennis career. And I'm really glad that actually it worked out, and it can be, it can happen here because uh, you know being part of this tournament for the six times, qualifying this tournament six times is always been a big goal for me and for every season that I was starting on the ATP and uh, now I can finish my career here. So yeah, it is very special. You've been known throughout your career to be very consistent. I don't know how many years in top 10 it seemed like every week we'll, for like 10 years you were there. What would, you what would you say was the key to your consistency throughout the career? Well, it is hard to point, but you know, probably the dedication, you know, really all the hard work that I've done around it, taking care of my body because that's also very important, which I find out now at the end. I mean, not that I would stop, you know, taking care of the body, but you know, just the body says no. I mean, I cannot go anymore. So I don't, you know, I don't even want to think if these problems would come when I was 24, 26. I was lucky. I was, I was still ready and playing. So that was one of the aspects that I could be very consistent and, and, and playing on the top for such a long time. If you could relive one match and one match to play all over again, what would those two be? Mm, so to play again, it would be the final in Wimbledon 2010 and the one to kind of... To feel all the emotions again. You know, to ah, to feel the, all the emotions again. I would say it would be quarterfinals of the same year against Roger. Yes. Okay. okay, and tell me, we're obviously with Roger, Novak and Rafa out of the tournament. It looks like next year is going to finally be the new Grand Slam winner. Do you think that will happen and who has the best chance to overthrow them? Yeah, I think there is a big chance of that, definitely. And I think it is a good for tennis. I think that's, a, that's the, the way how it should be. I mean, still it's incredible how our generation was able to, to deal with that. You know, there was a lot of new generations coming up, but still none of them really break through until I would say now. And let's see, you know, I think that uh, all the guys that they are right now in, in semis and they have, a, they have a huge chance for it. I don't know, if I can pick one, I would say Stefano Tsitsipas. And just one last question, short. Uh, do you see yourself as a coach in the future? We've seen many of your, of your comrades going into coaching? Uh, I've never say never, but it's definitely not on top of my priority list right now. So uh, that's the thing, you know, I really want to take some time off, really breathe out. That's all the years, you know, that you were in stress and in, in, this, in this game, in this business. And uh, really, let's see what's going to happen. Maybe the thing's going to change quickly and it's going to change in a couple of months or it's going to take maybe a year. Really, I just don't want to don't want to put any more pressure with that with that stuff. And as long as I'm I'm not convinced for anything, I, I won't be doing that. Looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you guys. Thank you.